Howdy y'all, Fast Forge 289. So tonight, we're gonna be working on my 68 Ford Fairlane Fastback. I'm changing the seat belts out because the previous owner put these cheap, you know. There we go. Put these cheap seat belts in here that just, they're, they're no good. I mean, I mean look, they're, they're cheap, they look cheap. They don't, they're, they're not fastened well. It's got a freaking uh, safety pin in it for Christ's sake. So we're getting them out of here. So throw them away and uh not to mention there's the other side and this side actually come loose on me so that's that's real safe you know it's not i mean i mean look at it it just comes right apart you can pull this pull this out of here like that what's that's not safe at all that come on loose ain't no good we're getting that out of here not to mention it looks cheap it's like the other one out so what we're doing is, I pulled some seat belts out of a Mustang, actually my Mustang for now, cause it's just sitting there, not working on it. And this is what we're gonna be putting in this place. This is the proper ones for these cars. They're all the same from the 60s, pretty much, you know. And uh, it goes right here where this tap is. I'm tapping the hole out cause the bolts are pretty rusty. You know, they had these these bolts here in them, which isn't right, you know, it's supposed to be a, a, a chrome headed bolt like this. That's what it's supposed to be with a shank on it. Smooth shank so it can swivel. So that's what we're going to do now. I just tapped the hole. And if y'all are wondering, on these 60s Fords, pretty much all of them on the cars. See if you can look at this. If you can see it, get the camera to focus. It's a 7 16th 20 thread pitch. So that's what you need for that. And a 7 16th 20 bolt, obviously. Uh, if you can get the right bolt, but you can, can use you know just whatever you got you know for the time being if you have to like this it does work, but obviously it's not right if you tighten it down, your seat belt will not swivel. It'll just be stuck you know if you tighten it all the way down. So well, um, I did already install that side, so that's done. Give you an idea. See what it looks like. That looks a whole lot better. It's got some paint chips right there, you know, but they're old. These are 50, these, these cars are over 50 years old. So it looks good though. A lot better than what I had in there. So I'm gonna get these bolted in and see how it looks when we're done. Okay, now we've got that installed. Now we're just tightening it up. Last few turns here. Getting snug, don't ever tighten it. Just want it snug. See, it's, it's snug, but it does swivel. That's what you want. So that's perfect. Now we're done. Also, in case you're wondering if you're using the factory style bolt, it is a 13 16 In case you're wondering. And uh, it's done deal. Now we can uh, test out, see how it looks. Everything done. And that. Sorry for the. Let me get my hands in the way of the camera. That's a done deal. See, it looks nice. It's nice and concealed. And there, it don't stand out. It's not ugly. It looks good. And then on the other side, we've got that seat belt that I can just put down there by the side. You won't never see it. You get a car shirt or tuck the way nice and neat. Can it really uh, create, really uh, completes the look of the car. And there's my new bucket seats as well. My phone's dying. But new bucket seats look good in there too. Y'all comment below. Let me know what y'all think. And uh, thank y'all for watching as always. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. Y'all have a good night.